Welcome to the season 2 recap of Bridgerton. Anthony starts seeking a wife and immediately becomes one of the most eligible bachelors. He meets with several eligible ladies but no prospects intrigue him. Eloise is set to make her debut in society, but her presentation to the queen is interrupted by the return of Lady Whistledown's scandal sheets. The queen names Edwina the season's diamond and Anthony resolves to make her his wife. Meanwhile, Portia struggles with her family's finances before the new Featherington heir, Jack, arrives in London. Edwina has drawn the eye of several suitors and Kate has taken charge of deciding which ones Edwina will meet. To Anthony's dismay, she is snotchly against Anthony quoting her. Colin returns from his travels while Eloise becomes intrigued with finding out Lady Whistledown's identity once again. Benedict entertains the prospect of studying art. Anthony impresses Edwina with a speech at a sorry hosted by Lady Dunbury, much to Kate's dismay. Delacroix catches Penelope at the market. In a flashback to 10 years prior, the late Viscount Edmund Bridgerton goes hunting with Anthony. In the present day, the Bridgertons are at their country estate preparing for the prestigious annual ball and Anthony has invited the Sharmas to stay for a few days ahead of the parties. In the gardens of Aubrey Hall, Kate is stung by a bee, causing Anthony to panic. The guests begin arriving at Aubrey Hall for the Bridgerton Ball. Unaware of their mutual attraction, Edwina encourages Kate to spend time with Anthony, thinking Kate's disapproval keeps him from proposing. Daphne catches Anthony and Kate in a compromising position in the library and urges Anthony to be honest with his feelings. As the Sharmas prepare to depart for London, Anthony proposes to Edwina and she says yes. Queen Charlotte heartily approves of Anthony and Edwina's engagement and even offers to sponsor the wedding. Lois sneaks out to Bloomsbury to attend a meeting about equal rights and meets Theo Sharp, an assistant at Lady Whistledown's printer. Defending all three of the Sharma women, Anthony orders the Sheffields to leave but he is hesitant to continue the marriage. Upon learning that several gentlemen are interested in investing in Jack's mines, Portia convinces him to take their money. Preparations are underway for Anthony and Edwina's wedding. Edwina feels that Anthony does not love her. Daphne tries to steal Anthony into calling it off to no avail. Kate offers her mother's bracelets for Edwina to wear, but her sister tells her to wear them instead. Kate tries to explain herself to Edwina and Anthony confirms he is intent on the marriage. Edwina eventually decides that she cannot marry him. Kate and Anthony are left alone in the church and kiss. Following the failed wedding, the Bridgertons and Sharmas along with Lady Dunbury are shunned by the Tun despite their best efforts. Queen Charlotte accuses Eloise of being Lady Whistledown and gives her three days to come clean or risk punishment for her family. The news embroils the Bridgertons in further scandal and nobody arrives at the ball they are hosting. Anthony follows Kate into a rainstorm on horseback, but she is thrown from her horse and knocked unconscious. Anthony calls to her and writes to her. The last shot shows her lying on the wet ground with her head next to a rock. Kate is still unconscious and Lady Whistledown has been suspiciously quiet. Portia convinces Jack to host a ball to celebrate the family's recent successes and invites the Bridgertons and Sharmas. Jack considers moving to America to start over before the fraud is discovered. Portia turns on Jack and sends him back to America while keeping most of the funds he had gathered for herself. Kate and Anthony dance at the ball, but the Queen neatly saves their reputations by claiming that cancelling the wedding was her idea. Anthony and Kate declare the love for one another. Penelope decides to continue on as the Lady Whistledown. After travelling for six months, Kate and Anthony, now married, join the rest of the Bridgertons for another game of Palm Mall at Aubrey Hall. Thank you for watching the recap and if you liked it, then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.